World Rally Championship from the gravel-strewn roads of Portugal. And what a rally this is. It's one of the originals. First run in 1973, and the action is no less intense 50 years later. Three days and 19 stages in total, eight on this first day. And with Sebastian Auger not in attendance, championship leader Elvin Evans was tasked with opening the road. Never an easy job, and inevitably, as he cleared a line of grip for everyone else, Evans dropped time. Yeah, pretty difficult to be honest. The uh, grip seems pretty low in there, especially if he's heading to the end. Um, but yeah, as to as to be expected. Really. Meanwhile, Oik Tanak in the M Sport Puma was flying, and the Estonian, despite running third on the road, set the early pace. But those Pumas were dialed in, and his teammate Pierre Louis Loubet was taking full advantage of the car's pace and his road position to win the opening stage and lead the rally. Tanak wasn't having that for long, though. He's the number one at M Sport, and he responded with a stage winning time on stage two to go two and a half seconds quicker than Danny. Sordo's Hyundai, it was now Tanak at the front of the field. It is uh, demanding, especially at the end with all the long, long uh, corners with the bed drop, so uh, it's, it's not easy. So, yeah, generally as well, I was struggling a bit with the, with the rhythm, so uh, I have just uh, water leaking on my windscreen all the time and with the dust is sticking, so uh, yeah, it's uh, plenty of work in here. Further back, sadly, Takamoto Katsuta, who finished fourth here last year, had charging problems in his Toyota Yaris related to a faulty alternator, and he retired in the road section. Back in the stages, though, and his teammate Kale Rovampera was the man now on a charge. A phenomenal effort through stage three to move up into second place overall ahead of Sordo in third, with Neuville fourth and Evans down in fifth. It was a bit expected that maybe we need to dial in the, the setup of the car a bit and we changed something now so it seems to be a bit better. So at least this was a clean run but uh, afternoon will be tricky when we go onto the hard tyres and uh, it, it will be rough. Up at the front though, and happy with his morning's work, Oit Tanak was the man who headed for the midday tyre fitting zone, leading Rally Portugal by just three seconds. Yeah, the, the stage is fun, the stage is fun, so uh, yeah, just a bit challenging in here, but no, it's, it's been a better morning than we expected. So. Into the afternoon then, and a repeat of the morning loop, plus the extra 18 kilometre Mortagua stage, and for M Sports Oit Tanak, his lead deflated along with his front right tyre. 50 seconds dropped, the rally lead was gone and he was down to 7th overall. Meanwhile, Esapeka Lappi, now with four hard tyres bolted to his Hyundai, blew the rest of the field away, going three seconds faster than anyone else through stage four. Pass it through by four seconds. Okay, good. I like this direction. Kelly Rovampera bounced back to win stages five and six, but it was on stage seven where it all got a bit fruity. Elvin Evans threw his Toyota off the road at 13 kilometers in, while Esa Pekalapi put in another phenomenal drive to win the stage, and he passed Thierry Neuville for third overall. Meanwhile, Danny Sordo in second had a spin and he dropped 12 seconds. That meant Kale Rovampera extended his lead to 14.2 seconds. A clean and consistent drive from the Finn to lead Rally Portugal going into day two. Another seven stages to run on Saturday and Rovampera with a strong start position as well. Can he extend his lead or will he be reeled in? Get your comments in below. It's a long day tomorrow and we'll be here to bring you all the action.